Hello friends, welcome to the Edupedia world. This tutorial is the third installment of our tutorial where we are studying variable, data types and constant. So far in first two installments, we have covered variables, data types, category of data types, declaration of variables, assigning value to variables, assignment operator, scope of variables. In this installment, we will be covering standard default values and constant and symbolic constant. So let's begin. Ok guys, so let's begin with the standard default values. So as we have seen, Java variables do have some data type. So we will study what kind of data type have a particular default value. So a boolean data type which could contain true or false as a value is having a default value false. So that means whenever you create a variable with a data type boolean and do not assign it any value then by default false will be assigned to that boolean variable. Then char do have a unicode value represented by backslash u 4 times 0. So this is a unicode value of char. So same is the case with char. If you are defining a variable char for example char ch and we are not initializing it with any value then this default value will be initialized to that variable ch. Then for int, short, byte and wrong we are having a default value of 0 and 0 L. 0 is the default value for int, short and byte and 0 L is the default value for long. So in Java, if you are not defining an int variable, it will get the default value of 0. Then moving forward to float. Float will have a default value of 0, 0.0 F. And double will have a default value of 0.0d. Other than that, if you have created any reference type or any object type, it will automatically get a value of null. That was pretty simple. Moving forward. Okay. But this is not a case with local variables or block variables. So the default values we have seen can be initialized to a instance variable but it cannot be but local variable or block variable will not have these default value. It is very compulsory or a mandatory to define a value of a local variable or a block variable before using it in Java. So when you declare a local or block variable and they didn't get the default value they must be assigned some value before accessing it. Otherwise, compiler will throw an error. Okay, so let's try to do a code example to see the default values and to see this case where we do not assign a value to a local variable. Okay guys, so I am creating a new class in my Eclipse IDE. The name of the class I'm giving is default values example. Now let me create a main method in this. Now let's create a variable int. I have created a variable int. Now let me try to print out the value of int i. You see that compiler is giving me an error which is saying the local variable i may not have been initialized. If I just try to run the program then I also get an error on console which is saying unresolved compilation problem local variable i may not have been initialized. So that means our local variable is not initialized. 
So that proves us that we need to initialize any local variable. Let's see same with a block variable. So you see I have created a for block without initializing the variable x and it is giving me a same error where it is telling me to initialize a variable. Once I initialize it, the error will disappear. Okay, now let's print some default values. To do that, let me create some instance variable of this class. Okay guys, now program is completed. Now I'm going to print the values. Let's run this program. So here you can see the default values of each of them as we stated in the slide. Fine. Now we have covered the default values and uh, how they can be applied to different scope of variables. Now we will see what are constants or symbolic constants in Java. A constant in Java is used to map an exact and unchanging value to a variable name. Constants are used in programming to make code a bit more robust and human readable. Here is an example. So let's learn constant through an example. Okay, so I'm creating a class stating constants example. Okay. Now let's say I have to write a program to calculate the area of a circle, circumference of a circle, and to do some modification in that. So let's write. Now let's say I'm having a method in this class constant example to calculate the area. Void area. Similarly, I'm having a method to create circumference in area what i'm doing is i'm printing out in area equals to value of pi which is 3.14 into r square so r is something that user is giving me so int r again r okay so it's giving me an error because it's saying change the type of area to double why so because we are using a decimal notation so now this will work fine okay and now over here i'm printing out the area now let's write the code for circumference. Now let's say I have a method to add the areas of two circle. So I'm taking an input as R1 and R2 and I'm calculating the area of both of them. And then I'm printing out the sum of area. Okay, so it goes like that. Fine, now let's run this program. While I'm uh, trying to run this program, just try to guess what's wrong with this program. Okay, so area I'm passing 4 then in circumference I'm again passing 4 and add area I'm passing 5 and I'm passing 6 okay let's run the program 
well we got the output and it's running absolutely fine there is no problem but do you know any method using which we can improve our code well you can see that i am constantly using a value 3.14 which is a value of pi again and again about four times in this piece of code so why not use constants so what are constants well constants are some of the final variables that are used in java that can be declared outside so that they can be used so let's see how can i declare constant so i'm creating a class constants in this class i am declaring a variable public static final pi okay so it's a int variable public static final int pi and i'm giving a value as 3.14 i'm sorry i need to declare it as double or float i'm making it as double and now instead of using 3.144 times why not just use this constant value so you can see i'm replacing everywhere wherever i have used 3.14 with pi what do you think is the benefit of doing that well it makes your code error free you know it could be um, possible that in future you have to change this value although uh, mathematically the value of pi will remain as 3.14 but uh, you know there could be any other user defined constant for which the value could be changed for example the value which is currently is 3.14 in future you might be needing more precision so you might be using 3.1412 so instead of changing in every place now you just need to change it in this class which is constant and it will be replaced in all other places so like this you are making your code error free because it could be possible that you change it in a three place and then forget to change it in a fourth place then your code will become insufficient now if you try to run it so just by changing one line of code you can see the updated result so that's the benefit of constant so it reduces number of lines will not exactly but yeah it's taking the help of code reuse capability and also making your code much safe so in java whenever you define a constant in a particular class with static and final keyword it's become a symbolic constant and why we are using it static so that we don't need to create the object of a constant class and over here if you think logically we actually don't need a object of a constant class because there is no state to be maintained so that's why we can simply create a constant using static and final is used so that its value cannot be changed everywhere anywhere and why we are using final over here so that the value cannot be changed or overrided in any of our class okay so just assume like if there is another class which could be able to override this value then there could be a error in your code because there is another developer who has changed this value by overriding it in his class somehow and you are not aware about that then your code will become invalid so just to make sure that nobody could override the value we are using the final keyword so that it cannot be changed in some other place okay guys so we have covered the two topics now only one topic is remaining uh, that would be typecasting we'll cover it in a next video that's a very important topic so thank you as of now